Well, not too long ago, Hurricane Adelia had made landfall as a Category 3 hurricane. But some of those outer bands, the closest to the eyeball, impacted as Category 4 strength. It did reach Category 4 just earlier this morning, so we can already see a lot more what the land is doing, cutting off a lot of that moisture. And we can already see how quickly that's already starting to weaken the storm. From just Category 4 earlier this morning, already now down to Category 3 strength. It will continue to keep weakening later today around 2 p.m. to Category 2. That's bringing it out of the major status and back into regular hurricane status. Continue that weakening into tropical storm as it gets around into a little bit around Georgia as well as into South Carolina before it pushes its way all the way back out into the Atlantic. Again, uh, with Hurricane Adelia, the most strongest impacted areas are seeing around the highest amounts of storm surge, which is around 10 to 15 feet. So that's getting areas just around Tallahassee. The more the outer bands pushing us far south from Tampa to Fort Myers are still going to get some storm surges, but not as significant as the directly impacted areas. Now, swinging all the way back here at home, well, today is going to be another day. You're going to see still plenty of sunshine and clear sky. So we're going to fast forward this future cast into tomorrow. So we're going to start off the morning and afternoon hours. We're still going to see lots of sunshine staying under mostly sunny skies, but towards the evening, that's when we're going to start seeing this increase in cloud cover. That's going to change those conditions into mostly sunny to now partly sunny to even overcast skies. A few of our mounds can see a little bit of a few pop-up showers but it's not going to be until around Friday, around the early morning hours, a few pop-up showers can occur here in Grand Junction. We get a little bit of a break, then that, wrap, then that comes back again around the afternoon hours. Then we get another bit of a break, then we start seeing it become a lot more widespread into those higher elevations. Just leading into Friday around the evening hours, we're talking one hundredth of an inch of rainfall, and we're still going to be tracking even more thunderstorm and rain chances even into this weekend. For your bus stop forecast this morning, temperatures will warm up into the lower 70s and then continue that warming around the late afternoon to the evening hours into the mid 90s. Now, keeping the mid 90s in mind, that's what our high temperature is going to be today, around 96 degrees, and then we start cooling off again, getting into the nighttime hours. Now, we will expect it's keeping also in mind too the cooler temperatures because we are going to have a little bit of a cool down from Friday and into the weekend. Upper to mid 80s as the thunderstorm chances continue, then everything starts to dry out for our Labor Day and temperatures still remain around into the mid 80s. Montrose will talk about lower 90s today and tomorrow, mid 80s for Friday, and cool down into the lower 80s from Saturday and leading into next.